Here now, Board of Supervisors from Yuma, Arizona, Jonathan Lines is with us. Uh, Jonathan, we appreciate you joining us. Um, do you think that President Biden doesn't understand, he doesn't care? What would he have seen if he came to Yuma? Uh, for the most part, I don't think that he cares, but if he would have come to Yuma, he would have been able to see our NGOs who are struggling. He would have been able to go down and see where uh, 10 to 12 buses a day are coming from Tucson to Yuma so that our Border Patrol can assist in processing. And then uh, many of those uh, illegals are transported to D.C. or to uh, New York. Um, and he would have been able to see uh, the families that are struggling because of the fentanyl crisis, or maybe even visit Amberley's Place, our uh, family service center, where we have had people turn themselves in uh, on on trafficking chart or trafficking uh, issues and challenges. Uh, so he could have seen anything that he wanted to see here on the border, and I've invited mm -hmm. him several times. Yet he hasn't been here yet. Yeah, and you think also he could see what's happening to, to border communities. We've heard what's happened to, to large sanctuary cities. Uh, the, the dirty little secret is, is towns like yours in El Paso, McAllen and, and the like have been dealing with, relatively speaking, tens to hundreds of times the number of people uh, that New York and Boston and Chicago are dealing with. Uh, border crossing statistics, 223,000 migrants encountered last month at the southern border. Uh, that, of course, doesn't count the gotaways. Highest for any month this year, 50,000 over the past five days alone. Uh, so that's more than a Major League Baseball park in five days. Uh, Southwest Border Encounters in Yuma, 168,000 through August. Um, I know you're a Republican. Do you think this is a partisan issue? Absolutely not. I mean, when you see these numbers that are 10 to 20 times greater than what they were under Trump. Uh, and I have had several Democrats come to the border. Uh, I spent three days with RFK. Senator Kelly has been here. They understand the challenges that we are experiencing. Uh, I was in D.C. testifying before Homeland Security uh, last week, and it was interesting that they wanted to make it about everything else but the border. Um, I have talked to them about fentanyl, where here along the border, the average deaths are 19 times greater than what we see nationwide uh, and talked about uh, some of the other challenges, but it's certainly not a political issue. Our border is open. It is not secure. Our national security is not being taken care of. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting, as you say, it is it has now become a bipartisan issue. You should only be a Republican issue. And then you look at the, the, the numbers when you say 62 percent of Americans don't approve. That means there's a lot of Democrats who view this as really um, a, a terrible issue of, of what's happening. All right, Jonathan, thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Um, My thank pleasure. You. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.